chapter 17 of Walden is called Spring, the first sparrow of spring, the year beginning with younger hope than ever, is how enthusiastic Thoreau welcomes spring and a chance to watch the season arrive at Walden Pond. The ice breaks up and disappears, a process as complex as any geological phenomenon. Thoreau takes copious notes. He's also fascinated by the leaf-like patterns made when sand and clay begin to thaw on a nearby hillside. For Thoreau, this muddy site is one of the most important signs of spring. You find thus, in the very sands, an anticipation of the vegetable leaf, he says. But more traditional signs of spring arrivals also thrill him. New plants pop up and trees begin to bud. Animals and birds are once again everywhere. Thoreau reflects that just as spring rain makes grass greener, so our prospects brighten on the influx of better thoughts. In a pleasant spring, mourning all men's sins are forgiven. Even the light is purer and brighter than in other seasons. These ruminations take on a special poignancy with the chapter's abrupt last sentence. I finally left Walden, September 6, 1847. It's no surprise that Thoreau loves the sense of rebirth that comes with spring, but it seems unique to Thoreau to be so enraptured by watching clay and sand course down a hillside as the weather warms up. It's an unusual nature writer who sees signs of spring in geological changes. He correctly notes that the flowing sand with its branching streams obeys halfway the law of currents and halfway that of vegetation. You here see perchance how blood vessels are formed. His comments on the sand's excrementitious appearance is typical Thoreau. Thoreau even finds symbolic rebirth in a dead horse near his house. Its decomposition reminds him of nature's strong appetite. The reader has to wonder whether this is an overreach on Thoreau's part, but at least he's working to see signs of spring everywhere. In its second to last paragraph, Thoreau switches from the present to the past, as if to remind readers that this spring took place in the past. And so the seasons went rolling on into summer, as one rambles into higher and higher grass. Then, bang, he's left Walden for good.